Hey pilots, Drain Man here. Today I have a very special video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix one of the problems you can have when arming your quad. You try to take off and your quad just flips and freaks out. There's multiple reasons that that could be happening. I'm going to go over some of them real quick and one of the reasons is your motors are spinning in the wrong direction. If that's happening then you're going to need to go into BL Heli and turn your motor direction the other way. Uh, that is assuming that you have BL Heli firmware on your ESCs. Another possible scenario is that your flight, uh, your flight controller is in the wrong orientation and you can do that by opening up beta flight and going to the setup tab and lifting your quadcopter up like this. If you lift up like that and your quad is not going forward, right, so I lift up forward and it's actually leaning backwards or I turn to the right and it's not doing that. So you see here, this is how I can check that my flight controller has the correct orientation. So I know that that's not the problem. I checked my props, they're all in the right direction. I've checked my motors, they're all in the right direction. One thing too is to go right here and check, make sure which direction you're supposed to have. So I run reverse props and that's why this is set up like that and my motors are spinning outward, just like the arrow show right here. So now I'm at my next issue and my next issue is what could possibly be wrong? Well this is a brand new build so possibly something's wrong, maybe the firmware's bad, who knows. So I ran through a couple possible scenarios and what I did find out is I found out that my motors are mapped in the wrong direction. And now what that basically means is when I installed my ESC onto my, onto my quad, I shifted it and turned it about 90 degrees and the reason why is because my XT60 would have been in the wrong direction and the way that my connector pin that runs from the ESC to the flight controller the wires were not long enough so it put me in a bad situation and I didn't even pay any mind to it I, I totally forgot about it I just put it together and put it out and possibly you've done the same thing and if you have you need to change where your motors are in order for beta flight to understand that. So right here in beta flight you'll see this is motor one, motor two, motor three, motor four. So if your flight controller thinks that motor one is really here but your motors are actually somewhere else when it tries to power up two to shift you backwards a little bit or two and four to tilt back or one and three to lean forward and those aren't the ones that spin up, your quad will freak out and just spin out of control. So I was able to find out what it is and now I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So the very first thing we want to do is want to go into the motors tab and you want to agree that you understand and then you want to power up your quad. So now I've powered up my quad and if I go ahead and spin up one at a time, you'll see that this motor is spinning. You can see by the green lights, that's a very good indicator to show you which one is spinning. Now, two is supposed to be right here. We're going to spin up two. And as you can see, it's not in the correct spot. Let's check three. Three is also not in the correct spot. And then we will spin up four. Four is where it's supposed to be. So, two and three, let me double check, two and three. Motors two and three are in the wrong place and because of that my quad just freaks out when I try to lift off. It does arm but it just wigs out. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that now with a quick tutorial. Alright so the very first thing you want to do is go into your CLI and type the word resource and you will see right here motors one through four. So we know that motors two and three are backwards. So all you're going to do is take the pad, so according to the flight controller, it doesn't understand motor 1, motor 2, motor 3. What it understands is the name of that pad and where it's placed on the board. So my flight controller thinks that motor 2 is on C09, but really that's not where it is. So motors 2 and 3 need to be switched and it's very likely that you have 4 that are out of whack. So what you'll do is spin up one at a time going okay one needs to be where four is and three needs to be where two is and f a needs to be where b is you get the idea so what i need to do in this scenario right here and if you're having the same scenario then you can just copy mine although if you have a different flight controller your pads are going to have different names so i need to take motors two and switch it with motor three 
What that's going to mean is I need to take CO9 and put it on 3 and I need to take AO8 and put it on motor 2. So the first thing I need to do is I need to free the motors because the motors are locked down right now in the place that they are at. So in order to do that you're going to type resource motor 2 none. Press enter and you'll see that it says resource is free. Resource, oops, resource motor 3 none. So I have now taken motor 2 and motor 3 and I removed them from the flight controller. So they do not have a place on this board. The very next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type resource motor 2 and for you, you might be doing one, two, three, and four. And if that's what you need to do, then make sure you do that. For me, I just need these two, so these are the two that I'm gonna do. So right now, resource motor two. Well, where do I wanna put it? I wanna put it where three was because that's where it was switched. And three was A08. So I'm gonna press enter. And then make sure you read what it spits back to you to let you know that you've entered it correctly because it will tell you if you did something wrong. So I'll do an example for you. Resource motor 2. I'm going to try to move it again, for example, to 109. So it just spit it back out. So resource motor 2 went to A08 and resource motor 3 needs to go to... C09. Oh, right away we see that that is incorrect. So we need to go resource motor 3. The resource motor 3 and we need to put it where motor 2 was. Motor 2 was on C09. So we're going to press if you notice that it gave me an error and what that error is is that I typed resource wrong I put R-E-S-O-U-R-E -E. there's no C so it, you can see clearly that if you mess up it's gonna let you know that you did something wrong just like I did when I hit resource motor 109 it didn't understand that so it was letting me know make sure you hit an index that's in between 1 and 8 so now that we've set resource motor 3 to CO9 we have now switched as you can see we took motor 2 and motor 3 off and we put them in their new location we basically just switch them and you always hit save and it's going to save and reboot and now we will go to the motors tab and I will power it up and I'm going to check to see if I have fixed my motors so one is where one is supposed to be as you can see indicated by the LED Two is where two is supposed to be, indicated by the LED. Three is in the correct place, and four was in the correct place already. Now you guys know how to resource your motors. I don't know if I did that good and showed you guys properly and you guys completely understand. And hey, Drain Man, thank you. I understand now. I can do it myself. Or if this wasn't explanatory enough, I did not want to drag out a 10-hour video just to show you how to do something real quick. As you can see, it's not very difficult. Hopefully, you guys were able to grab that. Let me know if uh, you have more questions or something. Drop down in the comments and I'll show you guys or I'll explain anything that you need explained better. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.